Hi everyone, welcome to the Polar Bear Workshop. Thank you for registering. Um, this is what you will have finished when you are done listening to our story. And after you stuff your little snow leopard, he is so cute and he's so cuddly and soft. So you will be so happy that you registered for this program. Um, let me get started and then I will show you what you will have in your kit um, when you receive it. Um, and um, I'll give you a couple of pointers and then I'm going to hand it over to you. All right, so let's begin. We have this wonderful book, When Snowflakes Fall. It is written by Claire Friedman and it is illustrated by Tina McNaughton. Okay, and it definitely takes place up in the Arctic because you see all of the snow and the um, icebergs and the cliffs. And let's see, oh, this was printed by Scholastic. So it was, um, all right, so here we go. Where snowflakes fall. The glittering icy world wakes up to the sun in this fragile white land. A new day's begun. Snow leopards wake to the pink blush of dawn, still drowsy from sleep. They're cozy and warm. See those snow leopards? Look at the little, the pups and the mom. Perched on the cliffs where it's craggy and steep, hungry for breakfast, the puffins' chicks cheep. Far, far below where the sea meets the shore, foamy white waves crash the rocks with a roar. From deep in their den, polar bears tumble out. On wobbly paws, they wiggle about. Full of excitement, they run and they chase in this most precious and beautiful place. Look at that. Oh, see the little entrance to the den? Baby whale glides through the crystal blue sea. In the calm waters, he's happy and free. Close to his mother's side, diving together, down in the ocean that stretches forever. Oh, look at these guys. So cute. Icicles glisten and glint in the night. Oh, sorry, the light, excuse me. Long slender crystals that sparkle so bright, drawn from their cave by the first rays of sun. Lively young lemmings dart out to have fun. So these are called lemmings. They almost look like groundhogs. Blue shadowed snowfields snow lie still and serene. Where here, where the air is so pure and so clean. Sheltered by mountains, the caribou deer rest by the stream, flowing icy and clear. They almost look like reindeer. Oh, look at these Arctic fox. Ready to explore, the small Arctic fox peeks from his lair in the snow sparkled rocks. Eyes full of wonder, he can't wait to go, nimble and light as a soft swirling snow. Wings tipped with sunshine, the snow geese glide by. They gracefully soar through the endless blue sky, calling each other as onward they go over the silent land far, far below. Frosty winds blow, little penguin stays snug, all safe and sound in a feather soft hug. Wrapped in his mother's wings, sheltered and still, warm through the blizzard and harsh, bitter, chill. Look at all those penguins. 
Soft shadows fall as the sun slips away. Snowy white clouds turn to purple and gray. Arctic hares hop home, all tired and dozy. Soon they'll be sleeping and cuddled up cozy. The northern lights shimmer and dance up on high. Majestically, snowy owl swoops through the sky. Over the magical ice world he flies and only the moon hears his soft, haunting cries. Little seal lies in his mother's warm cuddle. In the cold stillness, together they huddle. The frosty land sparkles with the softest starlight. Sleep, precious ice world, sleep safely tonight. And that is the story of where snowflakes fall. Okay, so if you did register for the program, you will receive a kit. It'll come with a, in a plastic bag. And inside you will have a copy of the instructions on how to stuff the animal, okay? You will also receive a wish star, which we are going to do this in a little bit. Um, I'll show you how to do that because you have to add the magic into the star. And you have one of your snow leopards, okay? And you'll also receive um, either the bag or the fill will be outside, just inside of the plastic bag, okay? Um, all right, so to begin, um, you are going to begin by finding the opening here, okay? Pull this out if it's tucked inside and leave it open. And then you're going to take your star and um, believe there is a little star ceremony that you can do, okay? They say to do this as number three, but I always like to make sure that the star stays inside and gets really in deep near the heart of the animal. So I like to begin with the Swish Star um, ceremony. So you're going to pick up your Wish Star and you're going to have every child just hold their Wish Star. You're going to ask them to place their Wish Star near their eye so their snow leopard can see what they see. They can look at them they'll get that magic of seeing. Then you want your witch star to go near your ear. You're just gonna have them go rub their star just near their ear, just like this. So they can hear and understand what your child is saying to them. Then you're going to put your witch star on the forehead because you and your child have so many thoughts and great ideas and they're so smart. You wanna put that knowledge into your animal. So you're just gonna rub it like that. Then you're going to put it near your heart because all of you are filled with so much love and you wanna share that love with your animal. So just put it near your heart rub it now hold your wish and make a wish don't tell anybody you're gonna make a wish and when you're done you're going to kiss the star and then you're going to put it inside of your animal just inside okay now when i had stuffed the sample here I did add a little bit more stuffing to the head. Okay, so you're going to want to do the head first. Just add a little bit more, just so he has a little bit more fluffiness to him. All right. And then do his arms or his paws, his front paws and his back paws and do them first. All right. And then you're going to um, 
do his body, so stuff his body, and you'll receive enough stuffing um, to do this because it does come with a little bit of stuffing already. Um, the tail will not be stuffed. It's sewn on the inside, so you won't be able to get to the tail. Um, but that's okay, because the tail is really, really cute. See his tail? So cute. And then you will close the um, this part when you're done. You'll zipper it closed. I won't show you, because once you close it, you really can't open it again. You're gonna close it zipped. You're gonna tuck it in and then the Velcro pieces, there are two sides of Velcro. You're going to make sure the fur is cleared away and Velcro those two sides together and you will have a seamless part right here. You can feel it, but you can almost not even see it and it won't open up, okay? If you have any questions, you could always call the library there is also the phone number that you will receive. So if you are missing a, a piece um, and you can't get to us or, um, you know, or something happened, call them. Tell them that you have this program through the library and, um, and they'll talk to you about it, okay? I hope everyone enjoyed the story of Where Snowflakes Fall. And I hope that you enjoy and name, oh, I forgot to say that you're also gonna get a birth certificate. So you have to name your snow leopard also. If you would like to please share your names and photos of your snow leopard, please share them with us at kids at westhamptonlibrary.org. We hope to see them soon. Bye.